strength. You guys need to know the strength. Hmm. Why is strength coming up? Why is strength coming up for Aquarius? Because of the page. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! I freaking knew it. Bravery is needed this month because you may have to express some emotions. You have to say what you feel, communicate what you what you feel. Okay, because this is also stepping in a direction, a small direction. Maybe flirting, maybe dating, maybe something that's small and nothing too serious that you can take a risk in and not really feel too too big about if you lose out on that. I think this is like a Okay, I'm going to try and play safe, but I think it means bigger for you. I feel like this little small romance that's manifesting itself right now, its or it's coming into your life, is something that will build your confidence in yourself, build, you know, bravery, will, will test your bravery, and help you to become more vulnerable, It'll help you become more comfortable being vulnerable, okay? Because the, the strength card is strong because the woman is extremely vulnerable. She's got nothing to protect herself against that lion if that lion decides to attack her. But she knows that that vulnerability can also represent, you know, um, you know, can not, not necessarily represent, but it can it, um, build a level of trust because you are putting yourself in a situation where you could be attacked where you could be hurt but you're trusting that this person respects and loves that sort of vulnerability and is able to appreciate that vulnerability and not betray that trust that you have extended so this person so you're about extending some trust right now okay so let's see what's what's going on so what we you know? How are we going to be introducing this love into the life here? Into this life here? Well, five of pentacles. Why is five of pentacles coming up for how this expression of love is going to commence? Chariot. Hmm. Why is the chariot coming up for that? Hey man, okay. So everything is telling you to pretty much see things from a different perspective. Um, hmm. What's very interesting this one? Because I wanted more information as to what this relationship was. I think this person or the people that you're interacting with, you know, I don't know if they're struggling, but I feel like. They're going through a difficult time in their life financially, stable-wise, career-wise. They're doing. They're going through something that's a slightly difficult for them. Now, how you're doing dealing with this? I think some of you guys are also going through some sort of struggles as well. So going through something that may not be, you know, too much. That you know, too out of you know your realm of expertise or you know as far as being able to handle it. You know, but I feel like you know because the. The chariot's there that talks about thrival, I feel like. You're working on self-control. This person is highly working on self-control. And so we're, I think you are working on self-control in the sense as well. Um, some of you guys may be. Um, and not necessarily indulging in impulses or anything like that. But I feel like it's not necessarily self-control in regards to holding yourself back, but to push yourself forward. Because I think, again, the Five of Pentacles is, yes, is a struggle, is a difficult time in your life, and it's the poverty energy, so it could indicate there's some things that are lacking in your life and someone else's, and there, and there may be, you know, work to try and resolve those lacks. But I kind of get the sense, too, that this is not about necessarily, you know, trying to hold yourself back from temptation or trying to keep yourself from, you know, not focusing on what the main objective is but it's actually about going for it going for um for the for the solution or for the changes the struggle may be about to be, be feeling stable and feeling comfortable being vulnerable around other people and that fo vulnerability again can be your strong suit can be your strengths it, it represents it, it can be a strength but you have to see it from a different perspective, which is why the hangman came up there. Hangman's coming up because it's saying, okay, you have to see something else. You have to see your vulnerability as a, some, as a tool for success, not necessarily for a, a potential for someone to take advantage. It can, but it's not the main focus of why vulnerability exists. It's not meant for anybody to be taken advantage of. 
Okay. So there's a, so there's a there's a need to see something from a different perspective. Maybe what you don't have or what you're lacking if that's bravery, if that's, you know, feeling strong enough to handle a difficult situation, seeing that even you're, you know, in your most vulnerable state, it could be the most strongest. Because weakness is enough, is just strengths that are haven't been perfected. And I feel like for some of you guys, you may not have a lot, I mean, maybe you lack a lot of knowledge or a lot of information about something. And I usually don't see pages, of, excuse me, pentacles as information. But I feel like you lack something in regards to, you know, a st maybe you guys lack stable relationships. You, maybe you guys lack, you know, being, you know, feeling stable enough to proceed forward in a relationship. There's always something that c kind of creates a pitfall in the relationship. And it may have to do with the fact that you're always strong, that you're always, um, you, know, you always have your, 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 your battle armor on. Right? It could be that, right? Some of you guys, it could be that. And some of you guys, it may be that, you know, yeah, I feel like it's mostly that, though. You know, you detach from situations, you figure things out, but you don't ever show on a vulnerable side. Because, of course, that's very special to you. That's a very sensitive and very precious portion of you. So you don't necessarily expose that. But I think the more people see the vulnerability, the more it, it, more it allows space for there to be st stability in a relationship. Believe it or not. It's weird. Alright. What? Why is the hangman coming up? Um, f well, why is the hangman coming up? For, for Aquarius. What things do they need to see from a different perspective? What is What perspective do they need to see differently? Or what perspective have they already seen differently? What perspective have they already seen differently? Eight of Pentacles. Hard work. What about hard work needs to be seen differently? Focus. Oh gosh, the lovers, but there's too many cards that came with that. Okay, hard work on relationships. Okay, let's see what's up though. I want to see. I want a clear message though. What about hard work? What about the Eight of Pentacles needs to be seen from a different perspective? What exactly needs work to be seen? Uh, oh, what exactly is the Eight of Pentacles talking? Oh God! Three of Cups, Eight of Swords. The, the potential of being reunited with somebody that can make you happy. And then the four of swords. You guys have been on a place, of, you know, a stagnant, you know, a stagnant place for a while, just reflecting and and so on and healing. All right. Again, what about the eight of pentacles? Is the eight is the hangman referencing to what port? What the world completing a cycle? Hmm. Hmm. Why is... Oh, give me one more for the world there to help me understand. Too many cards, damn it. Okay, well that just came all the way. The Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Taking a leap of faith and being too cautious. Okay, so... I think the hardest thing for you guys is that is that a phase in your life is over. A phase in your life in which you were alone, reevaluating things, figuring out your worth and your value. I think you guys understand what you know what you want and know what you deserve. And I feel like you guys do want to go after something or go after um, or build a relationship where there is potential for, you know, stability and happiness. I think you guys are very much focused on work at the moment or focused on something that is practical because it's easier to deal with versus being in a vulnerable position, right? It's easier than looking at what your heart is 
you know, guiding you towards emo- being emotionally open again. But I feel like you're slowly but surely allowing yourself to be that vulnerable and and uh, and open to receiving love again. Because you have come to this conclusion, you have come to this realization that everything has a purpose, especially vulnerability. And I think it's about utilizing what you've learned to create great strides in love. Very interesting. How does this affect uh, Aquarius' love life? Oh, wow. Specifically, before I can get the, the, the word out, the moon and the two of cups, well, the two of cups and the moon comes up. So, this is affecting your love life specifically in the realm of being, is overcoming a lot of insecurities, fears, and anxieties regarding finding your perfect person. Because I feel like finding your perfect person puts you in a position of being vulnerable. That requires strength to be that vulnerable with somebody and have that sort of trust with them. Now, it's also overcoming the fact that you can also, you know, you know, you don't need them to be vulnerable. You actually are, can and already are vulnerable without them. And the beautiful thing is, is that no matter what happens with this other person, is that it won't break you this time. I feel like the situation is, I think there's a worry that being vulnerable will break you again. But there's a, there's a worry that, you know, anything could happen. You don't, you can't read the person that you are so in love with. So you can't really tell when the end is the end. But I don't think there is about, this is about an ending. I feel like this is about, you know, challenge overcoming the challenge of worrying about there being an unexpected ending you want someone that you could commit to and i feel like someone that and i feel like the thing is is that you know i think there's somebody that still lingers in your life so someone that still lingers around i don't think they stalk you because there's no cards that indicate stalking but i feel like there's this energy that does linger and you are forever 100% committed to them, but there's also another love out there for you to experience. And I feel like, you know, you're, you understand that and you're no longer limiting yourself from that experience. You're now open to it. But that openness is opening a lot of different doors, a lot of the doors that, you know, you wanted to close. But I think you're more confident in yourself than you have been in a long time to tackle a lot of these issues. Tackle a lot of that. To be more... Um, you know, to, to be more accepting of yourself and the situation and know that you will be able to understand something over time, if not immediately. You know, you don't need the situation to be super fast. You can actually appreciate the time it takes for something to be understood. Interesting, but how it affects your love life is this. It's like you find someone that you love, you connect with them in a very intense way. I think somebody's coming in and that's why the page of cups comes up where you have to be brave and express your emotion because someone's coming in that makes you feel some sort of intense drawn connection to the, to each other. And it could be a friend. It could be, uh, it could be a lover. It doesn't have to be anyone necessarily specifically to a certain type of relationship, but this is someone that's significant in your life. And I think they will also help you to overcome a lot of the insecurities and the fears that you still, if you still have them and, you know, show you a side of yourself that, um, is inspirational. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outcome of your reading here. Let's take a look at your outcome of the end of May. See what the overall outcome is for the end of May. See, why is it happening? Why is it, this has been happening since, since I started Virgo. So all these cards keep coming out together. It's like, no, stop. Just one. Can't put half of the deck in there as an overall energy. Because <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh, God, see? Again. All right, so they're just trying to tell me three different messages. So, wow. You guys got some energy coming up here, okay? You guys have, probably have the most cards out of all the, all the signs that I've done so far. Damn. Okay, first of all, page of swords, getting more information. Perhaps this 
remember I was saying maybe, you know, somebody isn't, you know, I don't think someone's stalking you or somebody's, you know, sneaking around and getting more information. Well, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, because I don't see the Seven of Swords or anything like that. But the Page of Swords is a spy, he does get more information. He, he's, he's the, he's a student, right? So he's all about, you know, facts. So the Page of you know, Swords is, you know, facts or truth, um, logic. And the page is, like I said, student and the spy. So he's, so I feel like you're in the situation to get more information. And what's interesting, right, is that the Four of Wands talks about a stable relationship, um, a successful, um, a successful um, step in a in a direction where there's opportunity for expansion. Okay, and it's it's a second chance. It's another opportunity. But I feel like you go into it open-minded, or not necessarily just open-minded, but a little bit more open to truth, a little bit more open. But I feel like you also become very blunt, or I think you, you know, with, with whatever the outcome is saying here, I think you may have another opportunity with being in a relationship with somebody, and you kind of communicate that, and you know, your boundaries in a very blunt way. You communicate exactly what you need and what you want, because it's coming from a place of expressing your emotions. You do it in a way that's very, it could be seen very harsh. I think you express a part of yourself that's harsh and, you know, maybe difficult to, to, um, to deal with if someone under different circumstances, but you'll know the right person is meant for you if they can withstand that. If they, you know, if they don't back down from a challenge. And I feel like the last time for some of you guys, you may have, you may not have done that. You just may have fallen in love and then something happened with that relationship. And now you're ready to express the boundaries that you need, but as a form to protect yourself from what's precious. But then I feel like with this opportunity that comes in, you're gonna fall in love with them. Yeah, I think you're gonna fall hard um, with that war that moon, two of cups, and I think the hardest thing is to trust yourself with loving them. That's probably gonna be the hardest part for you guys, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. So let's go ahead and take a look at your messenger oracle cards and see what you guys get. But a relationship is coming. A second chance that a relationship is coming. See the signs. So, Aquarius, no more ignoring this person's coming. Okay, I think you, you, we've been seeing this for months, and I know you guys are tired of probably seeing this. Time to ground two is coming up, too. I, I feel like I, you guys need to see that, because right now, like, just be, be prepared for who's coming in. Be prepared now. You've, or, you know, you, there's a part of yourself that you've mastered here, and now you're going to use that in a relationship. You're going to reuse that in the connection of with someone else. That's cool. You know, that's totally fine. But no more ignoring the signs that this person is on their way. Right now, it's just about preparing for, you know, for the biggest heartthrob ever, or second to biggest, right? So, and this, this gentlemen and ladies.